Selfridge Field, Michigan, an all-Negro fighter group gets final instructions before takeoff. These men, after graduating from Tuskegee Army Flying School, are now ready for battle practice. Over the next two summers, the Stockbridge Robotics Program will be searching for six missing Tuskegee Airmen and their planes. The first plane that we will be searching for was flown by Flight Officer Nathaniel P. Rayburg. Graver crashed his Bell P-39 Air Cobra in Lake St. Clair, Michigan on December 12th of 1943. Rayburg attended Howard University for two years and also studied engineering at the University of Illinois. During his years of college, Rayburg was a columnist for the Afro-American newspaper and covered pro golfers as well as African-American golfers. Rayburg earned his wings as a Tuskegee Airman on November 3rd of 1943. Rayburg was assigned to Class 43 JSE. At the time of his crash, he was a pilot of the 1155th Fighter Squadron at Selfridge Army Airfield. The second plane we will be searching for was flown by 2nd Lieutenant William Hill. Lieutenant Hill flew his P-39 Air Cobra when it crashed into Lake Huron on November 22, 1943, a few months after he graduated with his Class 43H. Hill's body has still not yet been discovered. Just south of Lake Huron, we will be searching for a third plane that was piloted by 2nd Lieutenant Frank H. Moody. Frank H. Moody was born in Castle, Oklahoma on December 18, 1921. At the age of 22, he joined the Tuskegee Airmen and graduated from the program on February 8, 1944. Moody graduated as a 2nd Lieutenant and was part of the 553rd Fighter Squadron. Just two months after graduating, Moody was involved in a fatal plane crash while piloting a P-39 Era Cobra. The Negro training program operates the well-equipped Oscoda Air Base in Michigan for advanced training. We will be searching for a BT-13 Vaulty Valiant plane located near Oscoda, Michigan that Nathaniel Hill and passenger Lieutenant Luther Linson Blakeney were piloting. Hill and Blakeney were piloting a BT-13 Vaulty Valiant on June 16, 1943, observing weather conditions. They were flying over Oscoda, Michigan when their plane crashed into Lake Huron. Hill and Blakeney were both a part of the 100th Fighter Squadron. At Oscoda, pilots also step up from the BT-13 trainers to fast, powerful P-40 fighters. The last plane we will be searching for was flown by 2nd Lieutenant Wilmoth Sadat Singh. Before earning his wings as a Tuskegee Airman in March 1943, Singh played professional sports in the late 1930s. He played a position equivalent to a modern-day quarterback on the Syracuse football team and played point guard on the basketball team as well. Before joining the Army Air Force, Singh joined the Metropolitan Police Department of the District of Columbia. Singh was a part of the 100th Fighter Squadron and when he was just 25 years old, he crashed a P-40 Warhawk into Lake Huron near Saginaw Bay on May 9, 1943. Five planes are currently still lost and we are going to find them. Discover how you can be a part of our mission by following us on Facebook and Twitter.